You'd like to know how good the gaming experience on the Coolpad Cool 1, you came to the right place. I'll be playing 5 games. Hearthstone, 300, Eternity Warrior 4, Asphalt 8, and Unkilled. Stay tuned! Hey, what is up guys? It's Christophe from Visible Banking, and today I'm going to do a gaming review of the Coolpad Cool 1 Duel. I'm not the huge gamer I used to be 20 years ago, so the only game I really play those days on my um, mobile is Hearthstone, especially on my iPad, by the way. But um, you've requested a video showing you a few different games to test the gaming capability of that device, so today I'm going to come up with a different format. I'm going to play those five games for five minutes each, but rest assured I won't show you everything. I'm going to select the best 60 seconds for every single of those five gaming experiences. What I'm going to do though, at the end of those five minutes, I'm going to stop and I'm going to record and share with you um, the impact on the battery life and again the impact in terms of temperature and heat. And before I start, I just want to show you, so 91% battery life, it's on flight mode, just Wi-Fi, 100% screen brightness. So let's start with Hearthstone. Okay, so I've just played a bit more than 5 minutes at Hearthstone. Uh, the game experience is good. Again, be careful of the audio because the speaker grill, you can easily like block, block them. Um, it doesn't get very warm or it doesn't feel warm at least. At the top 38 in the back, it's, it's not really warm yet. Okay, so just a bit at the top here, but nothing, uh, nothing too intense at all actually. It's just after 5 minutes anyway. The device is a bit warm all over and again a bit warmer here. It's not bad. And the battery life? 88% from 91, so it's 3% roughly. And now let's play 300. Okay, so I've just played for a, a bit more than five minutes. Um, there's a few issues every now and then when this, there are too many sprites on the screen. But, I mean, it's okay, it's alright. It's just at times it's a bit too demanding, it seems like, for the device here. Yeah. How warm does it get? Again, it's warm. It doesn't seem like any warmer than with her stone. Let's give it a go. So, at the top, 39 in the front. 35. It's not hot at all, yeah. So far, so good. 86%, and, and we had 88% when I started playing the game again more than 5 6 minutes ago. Not too bad. And now, Eternity Warrior 4.
Okay, and after Ethan Warrior 4, again, 39, 35, 37, 36. So it's fine actually. It's getting better the more I play. It seems like the, the better the temperature. It's a bit odd. Uh, it's a bit warm, but slightly, slightly ever warm, yeah. In terms of experience, it wasn't perfect. Again, there's a lot of sprites in that game, so. Uh, but it's not bad at all, it's not any worse than any other of my devices, so I think it's doing a pretty good job so far. And in terms of battery life, 84, yeah. So 84 from 86, so again, not bad at all after more than 5 minutes of play there. And now, Asphalt 8. Okay, so uh, I think the experience was good. Uh, it's not the best, the smoothest experience, but uh, I'll let you be the judge of that. I've never played that game, as you could notice. Around 39 at the top. 36 middle. And in the back. 39. 36. It's not bad at all. It doesn't get warm. It's just... Uh, Lightly warmish, so uh, no problem so far after four games already. And now the last one, unkilled. Okay, and the last one, I've been gaming and playing Unkilled for uh, 8 to 10 minutes and it feels definitely warmer now. It's not bad, actually, 38, I mean 40, 41, it's a bit more than the previous games. Especially the back feels warm when you play. A bit, not too much, but uh, it's much more than the other four games I played, yeah. But it's not too bad compared to other devices, yeah. And there you have it. So what did you think of the gaming experience on the Coolpad Cool 1? Please leave your comments below. Tell me what you think, leave your questions. Of course, if you liked watching the video, please give me a thumbs up. That would go a long way. I personally enjoy the gaming experience on that device. Remember that it's a cheap device, a budget device. I think in China it goes for around 150, 170 US dollars. So considering the price, I think it does a pretty good job. The Snapdragon 652 
is good. The screen is really good. Uh, the only thing probably is the audio. It's too easy to block the speaker grill. And please feel free to subscribe to be aware of my future videos. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you in the next one.